up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today, I'm actually going to be doing nothing related to bow fishing. I'm going to be winterizing everything, as far as my generator, my two boats that I have, and then we're going to winterize both of the boats, just throw some gear lube in, and you know, make sure everything is all ready to go for winter time, cover everything, and then make sure everything's ready to rock for uh, next year. And then we're going to remount the trolling motor that came with my new boat onto my old boat, and then probably do some measuring for the new boat project so you guys are going to be along for the ride today hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'm going to try to cut out all the bull crap so that way it's not boring let me know what you guys think of the, like the vlog style i'm not going to be holding the camera that much just because we got a ton of work to get done today and don't forget to smash that subscribe button the generator that we run on my boat you can see it's got some scratch marks but I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So all you got to do is turn this on, push these two on, flip the gas. If I can flip it. Turn this cap on up here. Pull out the uh, choke. And then let it rip. Okay. We're gonna let that run, and I guess we're gonna go run over here, work on the boat, and then get this trolling motor set up back onto this boat. Right For all of y'all who actually don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, this is uh, our new boat. This is the 1852 that we got. We picked this up a little while ago. As of right now, it has a 40 horse motor on it. I don't know what VRO is. It runs really good, but we gotta winterize this and the 9.9 .9 Mariner that I have on my old boat. And then hopefully next year, early in the year, I can get that boat sold and then we'll have the new boat done probably at the end of December, I'm hoping, or early January. So that way we don't actually have to uh, wait until last minute like we did this year to get this boat launched. Hopefully we can actually get this thing rocking and rolling in a couple hours. But you're going to be along with us anyway, so it's going to look like five minutes on camera. <laughs> should be pretty warm. It's only been about, according to my camera, it says about six minutes. Probably let it go for another few more minutes and then uh, we'll go ahead and do the oil change. I'll show you guys how to do that too. It's really easy on these. <laughs> Yeah, okay!
should take those up down. Get those things cleaned out. Alright, so I'm going to put you guys on my head down. So you to shut it off. Let it run out of gas. So you want to make sure that it's in the off position. Turn this off. This just turns off the air conditioning for it. And then we're just going to let it run on high, which would run the 2,000 watts or whatever. And the only reason I kind of left this out is because when it's cold, it doesn't like to stay running smooth. Like right now, if I were to shut this off, it would kind of like, uh, I, I don't really understand why. I mean, this is only about a year old, but it does not like the cold weather whatsoever. So you got to leave the choke on just a little bit in order for it to run smooth. I don't, I don't know why, maybe that's just a Yamaha thing. But, then I'm just going to let this thing run out of gas, so that way it doesn't have any gas inside of the carb. That way it doesn't get all built up. You got one, two, you got the two screws that take off this whole side. Right here is where your oil is. All you got to do is just take a Phillips screwdriver, take out these screws. Now it's out of gas. Okay, there's one, there's two. Set these over there so I don't lose them. And then you just kind of run your fingers on the inside of this. This thing is so hard to get off. There it goes. There it goes. You just kind of run your fingers down the sides and just kind of pry it off. You don't need a prying tool, you just need your fingers. Because if you break any of these clips, it is not going to go back together right. So now. All you got to do is undo the drain plug. As you can see, it is starting to come out already. I don't want that. This frisbee that nobody uses, this will be perfectly fine. I don't think anybody's going to be mad because I'm pretty sure this thing's been sitting there for probably a good three years. This is going to make it fun. Go ahead and drain it into here. And then just go ahead and... It says that you want to put in on this side right here is how you want to do it I guess if somebody wants to see this how you put it back together, all you do is just put the bottom clips in first, fold it up, and then press down on each side. It's kind of hard to line up at first. Now I just thought about it. I need to wash my boat too. So we're gonna go ahead and wash the boat along with everything in here. So that way, when we get ready to go for next year, everything will be rock and roll. All right, so right now we're gonna go do a little time lapse.
know how to do it. I don't want to. All you do is drain it, fill it from the bottom hole until it starts coming out the top. Pull your, put your bottom screw in. 